In this video demonstration, we'll use the Horizon dashboard in OpenStack to launch an instance. There are several different ways that you can launch an instance, but the Horizon dashboard is about the easiest. So we're going to go ahead and log into our OpenStack dashboard here. I would we'll use the admin user. It doesn't really matter which user you use for this purpose. And if you look at the overview of it, you'll see we don't have anything running right at the moment. So there's a couple of different ways that we can launch an instance. We can go to the instance tab and we can select the button that says launch an instance. But then we need to fill out a number of options and choose the one that we want. And, and, but that will work fine. We can just give it a name, the size of the instance that we want to launch, how many of them we want. And then we have to specify where we want it to come from. Well, we're going to boot from an image and then we have to specify the image that we want to use. Now, another way, and then we can launch the image. Another way to do that is to simply, rather than beginning from the instance page, begin from the images page. And we can actually take a look at our different, Im our different images that are available. This lightweight, uh, this lightweight distro right here being about the easiest to use, we can just click on it and say launch. And you'll see that that part's already filled in so we don't have to go hunt for it. We just still have to give it a name and then we can just go down and click launch. Now, if we go back to our instances, we'll actually take us back there. We'll see that one of them, well, that's how long it took to launch. By the time I finished speaking my sentence, it already switched from scheduled to spawning to running. And now they're there and there we have two different instances running. We can click on the uh, word here. It will show us one of these, give us the general information about it, the log of it being launched, the actions have happened on the back end, as well as a direct link to the console. And we can see it just scroll a little bit further down here. We could then access this directly and work right on the console. Go ahead and log in. And we have full use of our system. So that's as simple as it is. We can also uh, do the other kinds of things that you would expect to do to, with an instance. We can create snapshots. We can assign different IPs. We can lock it. We can resize it. We can suspend it, pause it. And when we're done with it, we can select one or more of them, or we can use them from the menu as well, and just simply terminate those instances. And there we go.